I'm here with Karen Valk with the Idaho Food Bank. Karen, we talked way long ago, 8 a.m. It was super early. It was slightly raining. Glad it's not anymore. A lot of time has passed since then. Karen, how do you think this event has gone today? Oh, it's just been fabulous. It's so much fun to see all the donors coming through and all the food that's been donated. It, it's just been great. And oh, I just love being in person again and at this location. It's, it feels good. And what do you think this says about the generosity? You know, we're going into the holiday season. This is typically a fairly generous time. So what does this uh, mean to you? Yeah, you know, we, we always are very grateful for the generosity of, of the people in this state and taking care of their friends and neighbors. And this just highlights that, you know, it's the season of giving and we see that examples, the families coming, bringing their children to be a part of that giving. It feels really good. Okay, well, I have one more question. The cardboard boxes are getting full. The pallets are stacked with boxes, and that truck, the Idaho Food Bank truck, will be loaded up fairly soon with a lot of food, a lot of supplies. What happens next? Yeah, so now we're going to take all the food back to our warehouse, and we're, we'll do an inspection, a quality check of all of the food, and then we also categorize that so that we know what nutritional categories we have the food to be able to distribute. But that's done by mostly our volunteers. So this now becomes a... a a giving giving opportunity for all of our volunteers that donate their time and we're so grateful for the amazing donors whether they're individuals families corporate groups that come in lots of hours donated by our volunteers lots of hours and a lot of people obviously who benefit from the services of the idaho food bank thank you so much karen thanks for coming out and mark has been pumping people up for the last little bit of seven cares and i think they might have a song you know what thanks abby yeah i've i've got the seven cares singers behind me and we've been kind of warming up, uh, rehearsing a little bit, if you will, for if you haven't started recording the show yet, you need to hit the record button right now because this is going to be a little video Christmas card that you're gonna want to save for you and yours for years to come. And here's a little, here's a little inside the curtain look at our rehearsal. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish whoa, whoa, you a Merry Whoa, 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 whoa. BSU cheerleaders, I need you to be, you go low, you go high, okay? And then I need you guys to be a little louder. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay. So that's, a, so let's bring in Morgan I wanna, and where's I, Bree and Brian. Let me grab this really quick. Brian's here. We're gonna, oh, on, yeah, Brian Holmes just came back. I said, unfortunately. Yikes. Um, Brian's eating. Guys, guys, in the meantime, in the meantime, pause. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them warm up the vocal cords a little bit more. I want to bring in this awesome family. At the end of our event, we have got a family and a little girl who is pretty much emptying her piggy bank to give to Seven Cares Idaho Shares. Hello, what is your name? Katie. Katie. Katie, how old are you? I am 12. You're 12. What do you have with you today? Uh, I have some change. Have you been saving up this change for a little bit? Yes, I have. Why did you decide to come bring it to Seven Cares? Well, because I just want to help like the people in need. How come? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you love your community? Yeah. Are you from, where do you live? Uh, Boise, Idaho. Okay, so this you know will help your neighbors in need. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's awesome. We are so happy you're here. We're going to ask mom and dad really quickly. Did she come up with this idea on her own or did you did you talk about it? Uh, third year running and it's always her idea. So she reminds us when we forget. <laughs> so. You must be so proud. Oh, I am. I am. So is beaming mom over here. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's, a fun, it's a fun family tradition for us for the holidays. Yeah. yeah. We enjoy it. We are so lucky to have you guys and to, to instill this in your kids and for her to kind of intrinsically have that. How does it, you know, what, what would your message be to other families to do stuff like this for their community? Um, just mainly because, you know, if you have just a little bit, everybody having a little bit, it goes so far. And if you have a lot, you can do that too, you know, but for the community, you know, somewhere where we were born and raised, she was born and raised, um, it just makes the world of our hearts happy, you know. You guys are amazing. That just brought tears to my eyes. Thank you so much for what you're doing here today. These are the stories that we love. I'll let Bree handle this. Yes. All right. Listen, that's so That's awesome. Thank you, Katie. We have seen a 
Oh my gosh, I love these stories, Brie. Every year, these are the best stories of Seven Cares, the families and the kids that come by. Third year running, I love that. Family tradition. Yes, yes. Oh, we've got another gal coming through. Who is this? Hi, what's your name? Molly, and this is Cody. And Cody, hey buddy, what do you guys have? What do you have? You have food donations to give? Okay, why did you decide to come out? Oh, we're so happy to be able to come out and join the fun out here and to be part of the community, helping out as awesome. best we can. Do you feel like this community is special and that's why? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. There's so many opportunities for us to help out and give and unfortunately so many reasons too. So, yeah. We are so appreciative of you being here. Thank you so much. We'll have you drive up and we'll help you unload your food donations. And like Mark said, every year, every year we wrap with a tradition. I'm going to pass the baton over to my friend Mark Johnson because he is truly the master of ceremonies. No, I am not, but I, I want to just thank all, but I will take that microphone. <laughs> my entire family is here and you guys are doing an incredible job and I know you know how important this is. It is very important. As you said, 15 years we've been doing this. As we were just talking about, Jay and I were just talking about, like those early days of being at Channel 7 and just kind of the spontaneity of it all. Uh, it was just, it was great. And that's why we knew it had to get bigger and it did get bigger, much bigger. Take a look at all these people here and around the Treasure Valley. We ventured out into the Twin Falls area, the Magic Valley, the Treasure Valley, and it's statewide. Anything that goes into that Idaho food bank trunk is gonna up all over the state of Idaho. So it is, it has been amazing to be a part of this for 15 years. Who else has something to say? Jay? Jay? Bree? <laughs> I don't know if we can air those. Just kidding, buddy. Glad to have you back. Crazy, it's almost been a year since we said goodbye. Glad to have you back. I knew you wouldn't miss today, though, because it is a special day of giving. We look forward to this day every year at Channel 7. And once it gets about a month out, we just anticipate it. And now it's finally here, and, and now we almost get the chance to uh, have Mark lead us in song. I'm, I'm getting the rap from Mark so that he can lead us in song. We have, to give, we have to leave time for this. For 15 years, you in the Treasure Valley have made this happen. So on behalf of everyone here at the family of Channel 7, thank you for being a part of Seven Cares Idaho Shares. And with that, roll your recorder because it's time for our video <laughs> Christmas card to close out the day. Are you ready? ready? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Little louder. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Seven cares, I know, shares. Let me hear you.
I was originally called for the noise disturbance. Seven cares! I don't share! But just one can, just just a little makes a lot for all of us. And if everybody does a little bit, it helps those people that really are in need. Kind of look for those who, who share that uh, caring feeling, and so I thought this would be a perfect time. Uh, I've been saving that one crisp bill, and it's just kind of burning a hole in my pocket. At some point in time, I thought this would be perfect to kind of set it up. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Frank. Thank you so much. Oh, well, how much is this? Wow. You know, this event has helped so many people across the Treasure Valley, and so um, for us, we're just glad that that we can play this this role. And, and help people, you know, take care of their neighbors because that's what it's all about. The Hawaii Storm baseball team, the state champions of 2022 are all getting people moved from the intersection. Families that are struggling just to fill their pantry. So we absolutely understand. We have, you know, we're part of putting people in homes and we're excited to be a part of also filling those shelves with food too. So we, we feel very grateful. So this is a great way for us to get out there and to, like I said, give back to the community and say thanks again for all the support that they've given us over the years. Why do you keep coming out and doing this every year, Don? Because it helps our veterans and it helps everybody.